Hello and welcome to High School Soccer here on WOSN. We are in St. Mary's, Ohio for a WBL matchup between St. Mary's and the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf. I'm Josiah Stober and many of the cameras tonight is Jacob O'Neill. And let's think our scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. I thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight here. Let's take this opportunity to look at our visitors who come in tonight at 4-4-1. Four, four, like they are 2-1 in the Western Buckeye League. As we are set to kick off here, as St. Mary's begins to bring the ball up here. But let's look at our starters here from OG, who, which is coached by Kyle Metzger. In goal, number one, James Neese. Number three, Braden Zimmerly. Number four, Ross Mag. Number five, Carson Kimmel. Number six, Sam Warnicke. Number seven, Wyatt Croy. Number 11, Jaden Coleman. Number 13, Gavin Mormon. Number 14 is Larson Kreinbrink. Number 15 is Adam Mag. And number 21 is Carter Vorst. As we see here early, St. Mary's is able to drive that back line. So we got a save by the goalkeeper there, able to stomp on that ball from the big touches. St. Mary's is trying to keep it in OG's half here. Let's take this time to look at the roster here for St. Mary's, which is coached by James Holtzapel. We have number three, Connor Rust. We have number seven, Vincent Holtzapple. Number eight, Jake Ackroyd. In between the posts is zero, Landon Klaus. Number 13, Braden Keller. Number 14, Brady Dingledine. Number 15, Cohen Kraft. Number 16, Brady Triplett. Number 19, Noah White. Number 24 is Will Ross. And 29 is Lincoln Waterman. So early on, St. Mary's has maintained possession here as they continue to attack. As they looked across the ball in the box, it goes a little bit long. And then early, it's been Braden Keller being able to attack that back line of the Titans. It's Vincent Holtzapple. Distributes the ball once again out wide to Braden Keller as it goes a little bit long, and it will be a goal kick. Once again, St. Mary's is maintaining possession here as we have number eight, Jake Aykroyd. Takes a shot there. Goes a little wide left. As OG has struggled here early to get the ball with some possession in their half of the field. Battle there now as a ball. Falls to number seven, Wyatt Coy. As we hear number 13, Gavin Mormon drives it and pushes it a little bit long. And it will be a goal kick Last to the point. Riders. St. Mary's goal kick taken by Cohen Kraft. So see a battle there. Number three, Connor Rust putting in the work here. As the ball goes out of bounds, it will be St. Mary's ball. As a quick throw in to number 16, Brady Triplett. As Rust is able to maintain possession here. Will Ross tries to play a gap there. 
OG defense was able to stand tall there. Rust once again distributes the ball wide to Brady Dingledine. Plays it up to number 16, Brady Triplett, but pass goes away as number four here, Ross Mag, is able to drive it down the end line, passes it into number 11, Jaden Coleman. And the goalkeeper is able to corral it there. That is zero, Landon Klaus. OG having a little success there on the last possession. St. Mary's plays it in quickly and looks like we are going to have handball there. That's on number eight, Jake Ackroyd. Handball on the Riders, leads two way. Kick by Titans. A little bit of contact. It looks like the officials are going to call it. That was Jaden Coleman able to draw some contact as OG decides to play quick. Penalty on the Riders leads to a direct kick for the Titans. And a shot by number 13, Gavin Mormon. Great save there by Landon Klaus. Save by Mr. Landon Klaus. So the Titans finding a little bit of success here, working the ball down this left side. As St. Mary's is in the blue and gray, Ottawa Glandorf is in the away white. Once again, had a header off the corner by the Titans. But St. Mary's defense was able to chest that ball away. Play it out of bounds, and OG once again is finding a little bit of success here as how they turn the ball over. And we got number 24, Will Ross, looking to distribute it. Plays it to number 16, Brady Triplett, as he plays it deep to number 8, Jake Aykroyd. A one-on-one, -on -one, able to play a ball into number 14, and he finishes. Goal That's Riders. Brady Dingledine. So that was number 14, Brady, Brady Dingledine, Dingledine with the finish on our scoreboard. The ultimate outdoor, bring a resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And we'll be right back. And we're back as St. Mary's puts the ball in the back of the net. As OG is trying to fight back here. And once again, another opportunity for St. Mary's. As now they will have their first corner. Ball deflected by the Titans, taken by corner, taken by Triplett. And as that corner goes a little bit wide. Number 13, Braden Keller was able to get ahead on the ball. It goes right to goal kick back to the Titans. So it's 1-0 here early in this first half. A goal scored by Brady Dingledine. Puts the ball underneath goalkeeper into the back of the net. Gives the Rough Riders a 1-0 lead. Both teams have had some opportunities here early. A couple good saves by both keepers. As St. Mary's back on the attack. That's number eight, Jake Aykroyd. Draws some contact as the officials 
thought it was a little excessive. Opportunity for a free kick. Looks like number seven, Vincent Holtzapple. And Holtzapple plays it a little bit long. Ball play, crowned by number 13, Gavin Mormon, who plays it to Ross Mag. Continue to distribute it to Jaden Coleman. Back to Mag. Out to number seven, Wyatt Croy. Has another through ball to the middle. Number 13, Gavin Mormon. Has a battle there. It's Number seven, Vincent Holtzapple, able to clear it. But it's not out of danger yet as OG continues to fight. And Will Ross able to bring that ball out. But it looks like we're going to have an offside on the Rough Riders. Officials right there on the line. Rough Riders. So the Titans will have the kick. Just past midfield. As OG is playing with the ball. Opportunity there for number 11. Just a miss swing there by Jaden Coleman. OG's had a couple opportunities here. Getting the ball just outside the 18 there and just unable to find the, the finishing contact needed. As St. Mary's will play the goal kick here. And like we got a battle, but officials did not feel it was excessive, so they allow him to play on. That's number 14, Brady Dingledine. Ball goes back to OG and it'll be St. Mary's ball. As St. Mary's plays quick, our goal scorer here. We have a long throw down the Sideline here as a battle as the ball will go back to OG. Rowan Verbright into the game for the Rough Riders. A good through ball there by number 16 as Reed Kantner tried to put the ball on frame, but a good block there by the Titans defense. And it remains 1-0. St. Mary's Brady Dingledine, the freshman, is able to put in the early goal as we got across here. Good header, but number seven, just right of the goal post. And that was Vincent Holtzapple. Able to find a little bit of space, but pushes it a little wide to the right. So we got a few subs coming in. Number 16, Zach Rui comes in for the Titans. Also number 10, Edwin Pineda. And a quick touch there by OG. As number 13, Gavin Mormon plays the ball long to number 11. He's on the run. Jaden Coleman able to corral it down in the 18, plays it across. And good defense there by Lincoln Waterman to shield the ball as it went out of bounds. The Titans give St. Mary's a goal kick. 
taken by Cohen Craft. We have 26.06 left here in the first half. And we have number 13 for OG. Gavin Mormon driving down, takes a shot. Didn't have a whole lot of power on it, but shot by Titan, scooped up by forces a save there. Last touch off Titan gets St. Mary's throw in by Dingledine. Uh, good touch there by number 16, Brady Triplett. Gets the ball across. Looks like they had a runner, and it goes over. Number 13, Braden Keller. Almost looked like he was surprised the ball made it all the way through and leaned back a little bit, and Shot ball goes high. Goal by Keller. Goal kick taken by Neath. Ball goes all the way to Larson Kreinbrink. Distributes the ball back to number 10, back to number four, and St. Mary's able to get a foot on it. And once again, here comes Keller, and another shot by St. Mary's. Number 16, Brady Triplett. Good, good save there by the keeper, James Neese. Able to get down to his right, keep that ball from going in the back of the net. Checking in for the Rough Riders, number 11. Coming back, Hunter Winget. Coming into the game, Hunter Winget. Last touch off the Titans gives St. Mary's throw in taken by Triplett. St. Mary's once again on this attack is forcing the Titans keeper to come out and James Neese did just enough to keep the Rough Riders off track there. OG is able to corral the 50-50 ball here as OG is looking to attack. Number 11, Jaden Coleman playing it inside. Number 14 now, Larson Kreinbrink looking to attack. Number 7, doing a good job of bodying him off the ball. Maintain possession here. So plays that through ball. Number 7, Wyatt Croy. Plays it to Braden Zimmerly, who tries to slot it through. But the ball comes out to Adam Mag. As OG has maintained some possession here. St. Mary's sides to just play it long, but comes down with the ball. As so we have Brady Triplett tacking the outside. Looks like. Fell down. The officials, if they're outside the box, looks like it happened right outside the 18. So a foul on Brady Triplett. Looks like he'll be taking the free kick here. As he plays a ball on the ground and Titans defender is able to clear it. Looks like that was number four, Ross Mag, as we have some subs coming into the game. For the Rough Riders, number three, Connor Rust. And number 13, Brayden Keller, comes into the game. For OG, number 12, Hunter Rose. Number five, Carson Kimmel, comes back into the game. Corner kick the by. corner comes in and unable to be cleared yet. 
Yes, number four for OG. Looked like he might have had some space for Mag, but turned away. Number 11 here, St. Mary's. Looked like he had an opportunity there, but lost his balance. It looks like we have another offsides. Offsides gives St. Mary's gives Titans. And that was Braden Keller, who was offsides. OG is maintaining possession here. Had a little bit more success here in the last five to ten minutes. As the official standing right there, as the Titans player fell over, but official is in the right place. As we have number 11, Hunter Wingett. That's Hunter Wingjit. Wingjit. I apologize for mispronouncing the name. As we have another goal kick for the Titans. As number 24, Will Ross takes the pass, but Titans defense able to win it back. Here comes Jaden Coleman, number 11, the senior. Once again, plays the ball and offsides again on number 13. Braden Keller. Offsides, Rough Rider. We'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Free kick here by the Titans and cleared out by Ross. So we got some subs here. Number six, Sam Warnicky. Number seven, Wyatt Croy. And number 21, Carter Voice for the Titans. And for the Rough Riders, Brady Triplett re enters the game. Good through ball there by Triplett. But a great save by the Titans goalkeeper, James Neese. As Jane Coleman plays it out wide to his teammate, Edwin Panada. Once again, St. Mary's is on the attack. 2v5 here as reinforcements are on their way. Gavin Mormon. Sorry, Braden Keller is able to crowd the ball. Takes a shot with his left. Goes a little bit wide right. Wide, just right of the frame by Keller. Gives Titans a goal kick taken by Nice. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv also available on Roku and Apple TV OG here playing the ball out of their back Let's 
So they eventually dribble the ball out of bounds. Last touch off Titans. They will throw. Last touch off the Riders gives Titans a throw in. Vincent holds Apple, able to gain the possession back as a good through ball there. It's the ball, both players continue to move forward. The ball was stationary there, but good drive here once again by Keller. And they unable to maintain possession here. As the ball goes off of the Rough Riders. It'll be a throw in by the Titans. Yeah, 15 10 left here in the first half. It's another long drive there by the Rough Riders. Opportunity here. Once again, a shot by. Brady Dingledine, our goal scorer here on the night. Good try, Brady. Connor Rust able to Win the ball out of the air for the Rough Riders. As Ackroyd is able to drop it to Keller. Plays the through ball as it goes out of bounds. And we will have a corner. As subs come in. Number 28 for the Rough Riders. Reed Kantner. Number four, number 15, and 13 come in. Ross Mag, Adam Mag, and Gavin Mormon return for the Titans. Also subbing in for the Riders, number five, Landon Dietz. As the Rough Riders play short here, work the ball around. That's once again, Braden Keller with the right, hits it right to the keeper. James Neese. Shot by Keller, stopped by Neese. Balls play back to Nice, but take away and number seven. He passes it. A couple more passes there. Great save there by Nice, and another shot by Russ goes wide left. Checking in for the Titans, number three, Braden Zimmerly. Shot by Rust. We'll take the opportunity to look at the records here by both teams here as the visitors OG Titans come in at 4-4-1. They have wins against Fort Jennings, Walpock, Kenton, and Continental. Their losses come by Napoleon, Elida, Bryan, and Ottaville with a tie against Kaleida to round out the 4-4-1 four, four, Record for the home team. St. Mary's comes in six and four, two and one in the WBL. They have won six out of the last seven games with that only loss during that time to Salina. Early losses in the season were Liberty Benton, Troy, and Bryan. Wins this year have come against Greenville, Defiance, Delta, Walpock, Ben Logan, and Spencerville. And to mention, both of these teams are two and one in the WBL. A win tonight 
put them securely in second place behind the Shawnee Indians, who are 3-0 right now in the WBL. As the Titans continue to maintain possession here in their defensive third. Doing a good job of keeping the ball. Haven't found a lot of balls through to attack. But once again, here we go, the Rough Riders. And that was Brady Triplett playing the ball across the 18, but unable to find one of his teammates. As number four, Ross Mag plays the ball long and will go out of bounds. As number 14 comes in, Brady Dingledine, Caden Neergardner, and number 24, Will Ross, come back into the game. Last touch on the Titans gives St. Mary's a throw in taken by Kraft. St. Mary's drops it on the throw in. It's Connor Rust almost lost possession, but was able to regain it. And Ross Mack slowing it down a little bit for the Titans. Before number 24, Will Ross was able to gain possession. And once again, a ball across. Great save there by James Neese, keeping it from going to the backside. A big punt there by Neese. That's number 11. Jaden Coleman able to maintain possession here. Now inside the 18. Players wanted a foul there, but official said keep playing. Landon Klaus is able to corral it for the Riders. Ackroyd passes it to Will Ross, who's able to play it through the triplet, whose ball goes long, and it will be a throw in to the Titans. So we have a few more subs coming in. St. Mary is 28, Reed Cantner, number seven, Vincent Holtzapple. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. St. Mary's has possession here. Trying to break this Titans defense. Who's done a great job as a header. There by Will Ross. Bounces in front of James Neese. Who's able to growl it. Titans able to make some possession here. Number four, Ross Mag takes it down to the end line. The ball goes off of the Rough Riders, and it'll be a corner. Back into the ball game is number 10, Edwin Pineda. We have 6.25 left on the clock here in this first half as OG is trying to capitalize on this corner as the ball goes wide. 
Reed Kantner. Touches the ball long, goes out of bounds, throw into the Last Titans. Coleman trying to find a way through this Rough Riders defense, unable to do so. Plays a long ball now. Braden Keller attacks that last defender, and it will be once again a, a corner. Corner will go to the Rough Riders. It'll be number 24, Will Ross. Plays the ball into the box. We got a header by the Titans. And a strike there by Braden Keller goes high. About 25 yards out. It will be a goal kick to the Titans. A goal kick taken by Nice. We have 446 left here. Keller is able to win the ball. We have number 16, Brady Triplett. Crosses the ball, and it will be a throw in. Last touch off the rider. Gives the Titans a throw in. Think about number two. Justin Neither team here having. Much success here in the last about 10 minutes. A couple shots, but nothing really to test either keeper. Both defenses are really settling in now. So the ball goes long to the Rough Riders. As we have a through ball now to the Riders, and that was 23, Rowan Verbreit. Trying to find a way through it. Good hustle there by Will Ross. As Brady Triplett drives down the right side, puts a ball across the 12. And a great strike there by Keller. And he ends up finishing on the second attempt. And that was Braden Keller. Uh, one strike and a good save by Nice, but was able to finish. And we'll take a break here. Be back. High School Soccer on WOSN. And we're back, St. Mary's. As St. Mary has taken a 2-0 lead here. Off the goal from Braden Keller. Took a shot. Nice was able to save it for the Titans, but bounced back to him, and he was able to finish. Put in the left side of the net as he's tacking once again and scores again. St. Mary's. Number 13, Braden Number Keller, 13, Braden with 2.30 left on the clock. That is his, that's his second goal. And then take much time there, about 30 seconds in between the goals here as Braden Keller is finding some space there. In that middle, is able to score two goals here within 30 seconds to push the lead now to three nothing with 2.17 left to play here in the first half. As Titans are 
trying to get one back here before the half. As Jaden Coleman plays the ball out, and it will be a goal kick for the Riders. Isaiah Fast will come into the game for the first time for the Rough Riders with 142 left on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. I want to thank them for being our scoreboard sponsor. The ultimate outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. So thank we love our sponsors here at WOSN. Can't put these games on without them. With 103 left in the first half. One minute. And we have a free kick here for the Titans. Foul on the Riders gives the Titans a direct kick. Oh, Jane Coleman able to corral the ball here with 38 seconds to go. And a strike and a save by Landon Klaus. Stopped by Mr. Landon Klaus. Titans here with 15 seconds remaining. See if the Riders decide to just play the ball. And the ball goes Five, back. Four, three, the countdown begins two, here. One. With a 3-0 lead, the Rough Riders go into halftime. We come back. We'll talk a little bit about our game so far. This is WOSN High School Soccer. Back here at St. Mary's, where the Rough Riders have a 3 0 lead over the OG Titans. Goal scored by number 14, Brady Dingledine. Led off St. Mary's with a 1 0 lead, and then two scores by Braden Keller in about 30 seconds extended the lead to 3 to 0. So we'll see as the Titans come out, they were able to make any adjustments as the Titans are in the away white and St. Mary's in the home blue and gray. As the ball will be a throw in for the Titans as they have a quick sub. sub again for the Titans, number seven, number Wyatt, seven Croy. Last Wyatt Croy gives the Titans a throw in. will come in for the Titans as a long throw puts it into the box. It's number 13, Gavin Mormon. As OG is trying to strike quickly here to get themselves back in the game. It's a good drop there. By the Titans, but an errant pass by the keeper. Puts it to number 13, Braden Keller with the hat Joel trick. Riders, number 20, or number 13. That will be his Braden third Keller. on the night. We'll be back here with more high school soccer on WOSN. And now St. Mary's with a 4-0 lead on the errant pass from James Neese. 
Ball falls to number 13, Brain Killer, for his third goal of the night. James Neese was able to put a hand on it, but the ball ends up in the back of the net. And as the Titans here is trying to get back into this game, and soccer is all about momentum. As the ball is back in the possession of the Titans here. As you can see them throwing a lot more numbers forward. As the officials are going to stop the clock to reset it here. It looks like the officials are setting it back to 37-15. Last touch off the Titans gives the Riders a throw in. Take it by. Checking in for the Riders. Coming into the game is number 11. Hunter Winget. Coming off for the Riders is number 16, Brady Triplett. As we see the Rough Riders on the attack once again. Uh, through ball by number 24, Will Ross. Goes a little bit behind his teammate, Braden Keller. As... OG is attacking down this near side. That was Wyatt Croy playing to his teammate, Gavin Mormon. As they look to switch the point of attack. Ball falls back to the Titans as they try a little one-two there. And as Ross Mag passes it to Jaden Coleman, but Coleman was coming from an offside position. Ball goes back to the Rough Riders as they try to play quickly. As the ball quickly goes from one side of the pitch to the other. Rough Riders aren't satisfied with the 4-0 lead with 36 remaining. As they continue to attack as Titans defenders look to clear as they do. Ball comes off of Lincoln Waterman, number 29. As we have a foul here on Vincent Holtzapple, a little push in the back. Puts the ball back to the Titans for a free kick. As the Titans put some numbers in the box and plays a quick switch, but the Riders able to see it quickly. As Will Ross continues to battle and wins possession back for the Riders. Titans still trying to find a way through this Riders defense and looks like have a handling call. Ball bounces back up to the hands of the Rough Riders, but quick pass from Jaden Coleman as the Titans look to get a ball across, but Riders defense keeps them outside. And a quick clear. Not all the way out of trouble yet are the Riders. As Will Ross finally maintains a little possession there, but 
Ball gets turned over and back and forth a couple times here. As a through ball from Vincent Holtzapple comes back to him. Once again, tries that through ball, but this Titans D able to step in and gain possession here. Last touch on the riders gives Titans a throw it. Good battle there as number eight. Couple step overs there. Unable to find it and a little tug of the arm and the officials there to call it Titans ball. Penalty on the rider gives the Titans a direct kick. Another foul there on the Riders. That was Braden Keller. <laughs> Braden Keller with three goals tonight for the Riders. The other goal coming from Brady Dingledine with the first score of the night. And here we go once again with Keller attacking. Some numbers. Good slide tackle there by the Titans. This ball bounced off the rider to the keeper. And the Titans are off going the other way. Riders finding some possession here down that far side. Once again, another slide tackle. Keeps the Riders out of the 18. Titans able to clear to number 11, Jaden Coleman. It's kind of been their bright spot tonight. Had a couple opportunities, just unable to Really get a clear shot on goal and a clearance there by the Riders. A couple substitutes coming in for each team for OG number six and number 12. Number five and number 18 for the Riders come in. Landa Dietz and Caden Neergarter. Both coming in for the Riders. And the winner of this game will sit in that second place in the Western Buckeye League, Last right behind Shawnee. As I believe Shawnee is playing Defiance tonight. And what a ball by the Titans here. A great save there by Landon Klaus to come out, come off of his line. Got down and saved a goal there Checking in for his team. And that's really been the best opportunity for this Titans team here in the second half. A couple of quick passes allowed them to get into the 18, but a great save there by Landon Klaus to keep this a clean sheet for the Riders. Well, St. Mary's playing the ball long. 
Keeper for the Titans, James Neese, comes out, gets a hand on it just in time before the touch by the Riders. And now the Titans are pushing it down. I believe the ball goes back to the Riders. Last touch on the Titans gives Rough Riders throw in taken by. Dan we have 28 35 left here in this second half. We'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor. Ultimate Outdoor, bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoors. Always thank our sponsors who allow us to do this, to bring you some of the best in local sports. Game's really opened up here for both teams. It's both teams are going line to line here. And the Titans able to come away with it, but the ball goes back to the Riders. As we see Connor Rust driving, but looks like we have an offsides on the Riders. And that was Caden oh, Neargarter. Oh, we have quite a few subs yeah, here five, for the Titans. Kittle, number 14, Larson, Got number 16, Zachary. number 14. Coming in for the Titans. As the Titans are trying to cut into this 4-0 lead by the Riders. Goal scored by the freshman, Brady Dingledine. And three goals by the senior, Braden Keller, on the night. Which leads us to the 4-0 scoreline with... 26.30 left to go. Titans had an opportunity not five minutes ago on the clock, but a great save by Landon Klaus has kept this game at 4-0. Good battle there by Landon Dietz. <laughs> Jaden Coleman trying to corral the ball for this Titans team. Hasn't found a lot of success here in this second half. As the Riders go very quickly down the left side. As we get a shot on goal, and we get a save. That was Reed Kantner on the shot. Saved by James Neese. Yeah, originally thought the ball went out, but it stayed in. As it got another cross. I believe there was a touch, so it will be a corner. Last touch off the Titans. Good St. Mary's corner kick taken by Triplett. That was Vincent Holtzapple playing that ball across. The Riders decided to go short, put the ball in. And that was Connor Rust trying to head the ball in. Ball goes wide. And we'll take a quick break here, and we'll be back with high school soccer on WOSN. And we're back here, St. Mary's, with a 4 0 lead. That's another shot by the Riders. Shot 
shot from Cantner, snatched up by Neath. Titan still looking for to break the zero on the scoreboard as we have a foul on the Riders. Free kick opportunity now for the Titans, as we'll see how many we can, how many bodies they'll get in the box here. And it looks like the ball goes directly to Klaus. Direct kick saved by Klaus. 23-10 left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans play it back to Nice. That was Will Ross for the Riders. Signed to test the keeper. James Nice, but James Nice was up to the task. Not allowing any of those long shots to go in. To the net, as the Titans go back, look to attack here. Titans just haven't been able to find that, that final pass. As a couple opportunities they've had, just unable to capitalize on it and get many good strikes on the goal. Landon Klaus has done a great job between the posts, keeping this Titans the at, Titans attack at bay. As we see the Riders. Quite a few numbers behind the ball. Trying to keep this clean sheet for the Riders. And here we go. Uh, finish there by Brady Triplett. Number 16. Off of the quick start. That long ball. Able to find Triplett. On the run as he finishes to the left of the keeper to extend this lead to 5-0, 21-14. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with high school soccer here on WSN. And we're back, St. Mary's. Mr. As the Rough Riders add another one to their side of the scoreboard. 5-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We'd like to thank our sponsor once again, Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. So it's 5-0 lead for the Riders with 21 to go on the clock. You saw that last goal off of a quick restart, not allowing the Titans defense to get set. Last touch off the Riders gives Titans throw in by number six, Sam Warnicky. Which makes now three Riders, three different Riders have Scored a goal tonight, which Coach, Coach Holtzapp will be happy about, the balance of this team. Here comes number four, Ross Mag, trying to get a shot on goal. Another great stop there by Klaus. Got down, got a leg on it. Ross Mag able to break through a couple Riders defenders. Oh, 
Checking in for St. Mary's number 29, Lincoln Waterman. The Riders now back with possession here. As the Titans have had two great opportunities here in the second half to try to cut into this lead. Unable to capitalize, but Landon Klaus keeping his clean sheet so far. So with 19-19 left on the clock, it is 5-0 St. Mary's. Entering for the Riders is number 25, Isaiah Fast. Playing up top for this Riders team as they're attacking once again. It's Braden Keller. What a finish. And once again, just as we were talking, Isaiah Fast finishes off of the shot of Braden Keller. With the beautiful assist from Keller. Able to put the ball in the back of the net off of the rebound. Checking in for Titans number 21, Carter Vorst. And nice to see when your substitutes come off the bench and able to finish. And Isaiah Fast able to extend this Riders team lead. We saw Braden Keller once again on the ball. She's using that speed. Plays cross. Trying to once again find Isaiah Fast in the middle there, but unable to connect us. Titans now trying to maintain some possession here. As it now is 6-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So we're pleased to announce the new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Also, you enjoy the three wise men podcasts. Join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as they break down local football matchups, talk Buckeyes football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. It is 6-0 with 16-28 left as the Riders have a commanding lead. The results hold tonight. St. Mary's will go to seven and four on the year, three and one in the Western Buckeye League. The Titans would fall then to four, five and one, and two and two in the Western Buckeye League. But still a lot of time left on the clock. Checking in for the Rodgers, number 28, Reed Cantor. Ball was last touched by the Titans. Thrill went St. Mary's, taken by Lincoln Waterman. Yeah, throw in by the Riders as it does go out of bounds, out of touch. Goes back to the Titans as they continue to Try to probe this Riders defense. Unable so far to find gaps. Looks 
Looks like we got a foul on the Riders. As the Riders continue, a good ball there by Isaiah Fast to his teammate. Give it back as he plays it out wide to Hunter Winget. As, as Reed Kantner was trying to find Fast. Here's the Titan for the Riders, excuse me. Number seven, good save there by James Neese. As Vincent Holtzapple was able to find a gap in between this Titans defense and put one on frame. Really seeing another great save there by James Neese. Both goalkeepers tonight have continued to make some great saves. Titans can't clear it yet. They got another cross there by Keller. We've just seen some of the speed by this Riders team. Able to attack this Titans defense. Gain the advantage and put some solid balls into the box. Ross Mag plays a long ball, but swallowed up by Landon Klaus. At 12.50 left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. This has just been like that for the Titans all night. Unable to really maintain possession here. And the Riders try to quickly counter Use that speed. As we look at the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, 6-0. Riders up on the OG Titans. Checking in for the Titans, number two, Justin Kale. And for the Riders, number five, Landon Dietz, and 18, Kenyon Neergarter. Checking in for the Riders, number five, Landon Dietz. And number 18, Caden Neergarner. As this Rider team continues to push forward. Still not satisfied. Knowing this Titans team does have a couple weapons. Has it looked like there might have been a late challenge, but nothing by the officials. As both teams traded possessions here, and once again, the Riders trying to use that counter. Once they gain possession, playing that long ball quickly. It's led to a couple of their goals tonight. Once again, goal scorers. Starting off tonight, Brady Dingledine is able to score for this Riders team. Then three goals by Braden Keller. Brady Triplett joined in on the scoring night, put number five on the board for the Riders. And then Isaiah Fast was able to put the ball in the back of the net off of a rebound to extend this lead now to 6 nothing, And once again, this Riders team using that counterattack to quickly get the ball from one side of the pitch to the other. And now they have another corner. 10-15 left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And the Riders go quick. Don't allow the Titans to set up their defense. Ball comes out to Hunter Winget. St. Mary's tries to 
find the holes in this Titans defense. Playing the ball around, possessing it. This Titans defense still not able to clear it as burst out. And another great save there by James Neese. As Connor Rust burst out of a double team. Tried to go all by himself. James Neese there to keep this a 6 nothing deficit. And James Neese comes out with the punch to get that ball outside of the 18. And here we got number 11, Jaden Coleman, able to win the ball. Pullman. Coleman grabs the ball quickly and gets the ball in. Ball goes back to Nice. Ball's getting bounced back around as the Riders try to play near Gardner, but he was coming back from an offside position. Wisely decides to just let the ball go through, and once again, ball's played into fast. Fast wins the ball a couple times, but eventually falls to the Titans. 7.38 left on the clock. As we have a few subs coming in here, looks like we'll have a keeper change. And with that, we'll take a quick break. You're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. And we're back here as the Rough Riders have a commanding 6-0 lead over the OG Titans. We have just under seven minutes left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. As the Riders continue to attack here. And we've really seen some great goalkeeping really from both goalkeepers. Making some incredible saves. I'm not sure. Okay. I'll watch for their next meeting. Okay. So the Titans have a throw in on the far side of the field. Checking in as, as we have a sub each from each team come in. Number 21, Rodney Buck for the Riders. And Noah Brinkman, a sophomore, comes in for the first time for the Titans. Last touch from the Riders, a Titans throw in. And both teams getting some Players off the bench into the match. Get some playing experience. Well, the Titans looking to attack, but good slide tackle by number 23, Rowan Verbright. Keeps them out of the 18, and the Titans continue to try to get through this Riders defense, and it's really been a great effort by this Riders defense to keep them out, but also some great saves 
on the night from Landon Klaus have kept this Titans team off of the scoreboard. The Titans have a throw in here. As it looks like the ball will go out of bounds off of the Titans. So a goal kick now will be from the Riders with 412 left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We'll have a throw in by the Riders, as it looks like the officials were thought maybe trying to get a substitute in, but called it back. It'll be another throw in by Winget. As Isaiah Fast was called offsides with 3.05 left on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Just a reminder, the WSN scoring app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Score here tonight is 6-0 to the Riders. As we've had four different Riders put their names on the score sheet. Last up by Titans. Gives St. Mary's a throw taken by Landon Dietz. As we have 214 left on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Both teams getting some of their younger players in here. Two minutes. Get some varsity time game experience. As we hear two minutes remaining. Last touch off Titans gives the riders a throw in. As we have some subs out waiting. As we have Hunter Turpin, Kyle Ibrahim coming in, along with Luke Fortman for the Riders. Sub again for the Riders. Number 12, Kyle Ibrahim. 33, Hunter Turpin, and 35, Luke Fortman. As we get a good cross into the box, just unable to find anybody. And that was number 12, Kyle Ibrahim. And it looked like the lifted, the officials were able to see that the foot was stepped onto the pitch. So they were able to turn the ball back over to the Titans with 27 seconds remaining. As Landon Klaus puts the ball to midfield. Titans here as we got eight seconds. Five, four, and the countdown three, begins here. Two, one. And there it is. The St. Mary's Memorial Rough Riders with a 6-0 win tonight. They move.
to seven and four on the year as three and one in the Western Buckeye League. OG falls to four, five, and one, and they will be two and two in the Western Buckeye League. So congratulations to the Riders on a hard fought Western Buckeye League victory. And that's all for us tonight. I just want to thank St. Mary's for hosting us. They always do a great job to get everything ready for us. Thank Jacob O'Neill for being on the cameras. I'm Josiah Stober, and this is WOSN. Have a great night.